So we're all familiar with YouTubers starting food brands like Mr. Beast with Feastables and Beast Burger, like Logan Paul and KSI starting Prime, but today I want to talk about Dobrik's Pizza. I was in Los Angeles for WrestleMania weekend, and since I'm a big pizza guy, I've been wanting to try Dobrik's Pizza ever since they opened. So I didn't record a ton of footage while there, which is a mistake on my end. We were kind of going quick because I had another event to get to because WrestleMania weekend is hectic beyond belief. But we got there and we tried to order online and it just wasn't working. So we actually had to go in and order. So you could order slices or full pizzas as some pizza places do like Sal's. And the pizza the options they had by the slice were as follows. Cheese, the Chicagoan, veggie, hot honey pepperoni, supreme, one that just looks like it's extra cause it wasn't labeled, spicy vodka, meat lovers, and Hawaiian. If you like Hawaiian pizza, just, Exit out of this video now. Kidding. Please don't. But pe pineapple does not belong on pizza. And I will stand on that forever. It's absolutely disgusting. So when I first got my pizza and opened the box, it just looked phenomenal. I was basic. I got cheese and pepperoni. What better way to do a taste test than those two basic pizzas. So the first pizza I tried was cheese, and here's my reaction from the first bite. The second slice I had was pepperoni. Pepperoni time. I really like the pepperoni. And surprise, that's all the video I have from Dobrik's Pizza that night. And I gotta say, I really enjoyed the pizza, but it was pricey. Those two slices cost me like $15, I think after a little bit of a tip, because I always get tempted, or I always get um, ambushed with like the auto tip thing, and then I just panic and I click one. <laughs> and more times than not, it's not nothing. So I definitely recommend it for like occasionally or a one-off if you want to try it or if you just like David Dobrik. As a reoccurring thing, maybe not because it is pricey. And I don't know if it's going to be consistently worth the price other than just like a one-off treat every month or so. All right, I'm still working on how to make these videos longer. It's still getting new to me. But if you've had Dobrik's pizza, let me know what you've thought about it in the comments down below and subscribe for more videos just like this one coming soon.